They're passionate, they are idealistic, they want to go out and change the world. It provides the opportunity to both take care of the elderly uh, as well as uh, create an industry that is profitable while doing so. Frankly, I don't see it as a professional choice so much as a life choice. A sort of security financially in case of the risk. Independence and the freedom to move from one domain to the other. We have to be sensitive to their needs. Nobody wants to be a beneficiary. We banned the use of the term beneficiaries. I'm Julian Marshall. I teach engineering at the University of Minnesota and I also co-direct the Acara Challenge. Let's see, I work with young people. I see them come into our education system and they're passionate, they are idealistic, they want to go out and change the world. And we have an education system that asks them to sit in lectures and do problem sets. And there's a gap between that passion that they have and what we're asking them to do and how they learn. So one thing that motivates me is to give students an opportunity to go out in the world, to engage with the problems that they see out there and try to work on solutions. I guess, like many people who are in this business as mentors or trying to set up programs, I see in myself some of what I see in the students. So I was living in India and working and trying to work on problems and find solutions and I didn't really know how to do that. Uh, and I went back to grad school to try to learn some of that. And so that's part of why I set up this program is to help students who are in a similar position. They have passion, enthusiasm, and they want to know how to go out and be effective leaders and change makers in the world. They have the same aspirations that anybody has. They want to find meaning and value. Um, they want their work to have a positive impact on the world. They want to be a reflection of who they are. Um, they want autonomy. Um, they want mastery. They want to learn certain skills and, and do those well. And they want purpose. They want their actions to have meaning. Now, admittedly, that's a, that's, we, there's a selection bias here because the students who interact with us, with us are selected for people who want to have that be a part of who they are. We work with plenty of students for whom that's not really an option or it's not part of what they want out of life. They take our class and then they're going somewhere else with their life. They're the ones who want to make a lot of money for their own purpose or maybe they have family pressure or for whatever reason. So, of course, you the number, you have as many motivations as you have people you interact with, but there certainly is a subset of people who want autonomy, mastery, and purpose. And social entrepreneurship is one way to get that. So we've had several hundred students that have come through the ACARA program. Of those, about a hundred or so are students from Minnesota, and I've probably mentored about worked with about half of those, that's about 50 students, and maybe a similar number, slightly smaller, uh, students from India. Uh, I'd say in terms of people who are, have pilot tested ideas, we have maybe 20 teams or so that have gone out and tried to pilot test ideas, and maybe a quarter of those are ideas that are out there right now, maybe a little more than that. Uh, so one example is a company called MyRain, and they work on drip irrigation. Um, the person, there are two people who started it, um, one of whom was working full time. Um, his name is Steele Lorenz. So he's from Minnesota and he took our class. He was a business school student. He, uh, after he graduated, he started working in IT consulting and he kept pushing forward on his idea, which is around drip irrigation, which there's, there's other companies that do drip irrigation in India. They, to my knowledge, tend to be targeted more at the medium and larger farmers and he had an idea that would target small plot farmers. I do a few things. One is I, I push them, I hold them to high standards. Um, I keep asking them questions and challenging them to come up with strong answers and tell them where I don't think they have a strong idea. And I think that's what they want, that's what they need. I think they expect honest feedback. Um, they expect that we'll ask them questions 
and they might know the answer or might not know the answer, uh, but the value is the question, and, and therefore that question tells them where they need to focus their efforts. They may or may not have thought about business as a force for positive good, as a way to affect change. Some of the people who come into my class think business is evil, and that's the background they come, and so we work with them to talk about why it is you need to think about your revenue streams and how you're going to sustain your ideas. Starting anything, a social venture or otherwise, is hard. It's really hard. And if they don't believe in what they're doing, then they're going to go away. They're going to leave. It's going to get really hard and they're not going to want to stay with it. So I guess the last part of the answer is by talking that through, it, it's a way of showing that who they are and what they do can be a reflection of their values. And this can be a way for them, whatever they're inspired by, whatever their personal motivation or their brand is, you know, what do they want out of life? Being a social entrepreneur can be a way to have what they do be part of who they are and what their values are. Uh, some people enroll in our class, and so we advertise for our class, and that's how we find it because we're at the University of Minnesota. Um, there's a similar process for the universities that we work with here in India. Uh, whether it's Terra University or IHS or XIMB or the, the other universities that we have. So they enroll in the class is one way that students would find us. Uh, another way that students would find us is there's competitions. There's a national student competition, for example, and the winners of that competition can enter into our summer institute. And so in that manner, we interact with students from across India who have been the winners of that, that competition. The students are, it's easier for them to find us because they're already at universities. Um, and I'd say the people who are not students, it's, it's word of mouth.